Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The Case of the Boiler Descaler A number I didn't recognize with a 304 area code called, and I answered. After telling me who he was, he asked, How fast can you get down here? His campus was about three hours away, and I asked, Tomorrow morning okay? Perfect, he said. What's wrong? We can talk tomorrow. I'm headed into a meeting now, he said. We talked at the local APA meetings in the past, and although we shared stories about fishing, we had yet to do any business together. His boss liked using another vendor for his boilers. I arrived at his office at 7.15 a.m. He motioned me to sit and said, Ray, I have a real mess here. What's going on? His boss, who was no longer working for the college, purchased two gallons of boiler descaler from the rep who sold him cleaning supplies. The rep assured him it would remove all the scale and make the 30-year-old cast iron boilers as good as new and restore the boiler efficiency. To see how scale affects the efficiency of a boiler, consider this. If a boiler for a brewery was operating at 11 PSI, and one one-thousandth of an inch of scale formed on the water side, you would have to operate the boiler at 42 PSI to have the same heat as you did with 11 PSI with no scale. In this case, the scale was the only thing holding the old boilers together. Shortly after introducing the descaler, both boilers started leaking. In addition, it caused leaks in several hundred feet of pipe. The newly freed scale also plugged the valves and steam traps. It was a mess. How fast can you get me a boiler, he asked, and I assured him I would check with the manufacturer as soon as they opened. They were an hour behind us. I asked to look at the boiler room to check access and the current piping arrangement. Inside the boiler room, the floor was covered with water and steam filled the air. They were running the boilers, even though both leaked. After getting the information I needed, we went to the maintenance office. I sat in my car and called the factory. They told me they had one boiler in stock, which could be shipped the next day, and the other would be shipped in four weeks. Inside his office, I told the facility director the delivery dates, and he said, I want them both. I haven't told you the price yet, I said. I trust you. Just get them as soon as possible. I called the factory and gave them the shipping address, and they promised it would ship the following day. On the way home, I called my friend, who was the smartest water treatment tech I knew. After explaining what happened, he gasped. Never start an aggressive water treatment program on an old system like that, he said. His method was to prevent further damage to the boilers and piping. The lesson I learned from this project is to use an experienced water treatment company rather than buy from the rep who sells you your cleaning supplies. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com has my monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and Fire Ice Heat is my company website. I have written 11 books on boilers, and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you can find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.